we have to find the limit as x approaches 2 from left of this expression. First we check if we can replace x by 2. So we will have 4 minus 2 to second power is 4, 4 minus 4 is 0. So we will have 0 in the denominator. We cannot have 0 in the denominator, so it means we cannot do this. Next step, like always, when we have left or right limit, we will draw the graph of function which is in the denominator. In the denominator we have function 4 minus x squared. This is quadratic function, so the graph will be parabola. Because the coefficient is negative before x squared, it means the parabola will be up and down. So we will need to find the roots. So we have to solve equation 4 minus x squared equals 0. So 4 equals x squared, so x equals 2 or x equals negative 2. Why? Because 2 to second power will be 4, 4 equals 4, and negative 2 to second power will be 4. So we have roots. Now we will draw xy plane. We have 2 and negative 2. Like I said before, the coefficient before x squared is negative, it means the parabola is up and down. We have graph. What we can say next? We see that this part of our graph is under x-axis, it means has negative value. This part is above x-axis, so has positive value and this part has negative value because it's under x-axis. So we are approaches 2 from left. So we are going to 2 by positive values and when we are very very close to we have value almost because for 2 we have value 0. So when we are very close to 2 it's almost 0. So we have very small positive number because this part is above x-axis. This part is above. So we can write that in the denominator we have very small positive numbers. So let me write 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. It's very small number in the denominator. In numerator we just replace x by 2. So it will be 7 times 2 minus 8. This is equal. 7 times 2 is 14. Minus 8 is 6 over this very, very small number. So we have positive over positive, so we will get positive number and constant number divided by very, very small number close to zero give us very large number. So the answer is positive infinity.